Hi, it's so great to see you. Thank you for stopping by. I want to talk today about what a Pilates body is. So doing this for almost 20 years, I have heard that term a lot. And I know it's thrown around in the media and in articles and videos and everyone talks about wanting to get that Pilates body. And they usually mean um, long, lean muscles. I've seen um, possibly looking like a dancer, very sculpted. And I want to talk about what that actually is because I have kind of a lot of feelings around it. And it involves anything that says your body should look this specific way. If we put anything up on a pedestal and say, I want my body to look like that, and that is what I'm aspiring to. And I think it's great to have goals. Obviously, we all do, and we all have certain parts of our body that we want to work on or we would like to look a little bit differently, and I get that, and I have that myself, and I think it can be used for really good motivation, so I don't want to take that away. But I also want us to realize there's more to movement than simply having this certain aesthetic that we want to achieve and I say that because if we're only ever using that for our motivation if there's no other piece to it then it's easy for us to fall back onto what we used to be either we won't be able to achieve it and so we become discouraged so we'll quit or we will possibly achieve it but it took so much work that it's very hard to maintain or possibly we achieve it, but we could even injure ourselves or we don't take time to think about whether it's something we should be achieving. So in that way, I think about possibly a bodybuilder's um, kind of physique or people who go through competitions. It's amazing to get there, but can you actually maintain it once you're there? And that can go for any kind of, any kind of thing that we're looking towards if all we're doing is looking at the actual aesthetic part. Um, and so I think we need to go back to realize why do I want to look that way and how do I feel when I'm trying to get there because that's the part that we can actually hang on to. So if I go back to the Pilates body piece, for me, I like to think of it as a Pilates lifestyle. So what Pilates did for me personally when I started years and years ago was it really number one it gave me this feeling of power within my own body. It allowed me to achieve things I never thought I could. Um, I was never a gymnast. I was never a dancer. You guys know these things. I had played soccer my whole life. And so to be able to kind of feel fluid was really interesting to me. And it was really fun. And when I started to see muscle definition, and for me specifically, it was in my arms. I started to see muscle definition in my arms that I had never seen before. It gave me this feeling of strength and power that maybe I could do some other things I didn't think I could. It got me to start lifting weights, actually, in the gym because I had this confidence that I hadn't had before. Same with kind of getting some strength in my center and my back. I felt myself standing a little taller, which then gave me that feeling of these long lean, lean muscles, even though I couldn't really change the definition of my body. I, I'm 5'4", and I'm a short 5'4". I couldn't be 5'8", like I really wanted to. That wasn't going to happen. But the fact that I was carrying myself a little bit taller and longer made me feel that way. So I hope that makes sense. That's the feeling I want you to have. And the same thing, I still lift weights and I love it. And I go in though, not wanting to achieve a specific look. Of course I want to tone my muscles. Of course I do a lot of squats because I want a tight booty in my pants. That's truth. But that's not my number one goal anymore because I know I can't maintain that. And I know seasons in life will change. I had a baby 10 months ago. My body is very different than it was before and it's very different than it was before my first baby five years ago and I'm realistic enough to know I'm also 40 years old my baby or my body is not going to look like it did when I was 23 I can't get that anymore and, I, and I'm okay with that because to me now it's more important with how I feel in this body that I have and then once I have the feeling, like I said, of course I'm going to go have these goals. I lift weights because I want definition. I do a lot of squats because I want 
toned muscles, but also I want to be able to get on and off the floor really, really easily. I want to be able to get up and down the stairs really easily. I want to play with my kids. I want to have balance for the rest of my life. I want to feel confident. I want to have fun. A lot of it for me is fun. Like I was in the gym yesterday and I hadn't been able to get to actually do a gym workout in a while. I usually do it at home. So I was at the gym and I just had fun playing with different weights and trying step ups and trying some push ups on this box thing I found because I have the confidence now to be able to do that and experiment to have fun. And yes, for me, it actually all goes back to Pilates 20 years ago when I started to experiment and get on the machine and again, find that confidence and see some body differences I hadn't seen before. And I felt good while I was doing it. I didn't have injuries. I feel like Pilates keeps me strong and helps me prevent injuries. So by having that certain feeling and having that be my motivation and my goal and my why, if you will, that allows me to then kind of find and see the body changes that I want. And as you all know, I have endometriosis. That's been a big motivator for me for feeling good and exercising. I have a bladder prolapse now from having babies. Um, and so I have to change my workouts a little bit. And so that has to, again, be more of the top of my priority list on how I can keep feeling good and then do the workouts that support that versus, yeah, I would love to go for a run and my body just can't. I just can't right now. Maybe I can again someday, but I can't. So I don't want to put the pressure on myself to have a runner's body when I can't go run. So what can I do? And so I hope that helps. So when we go back to that idea of a Pilates body, think of it more as having a confident body. Think of it as being empowered, as feeling strong in whatever season you are in life. Even if you have an injury, how can you feel strong inside first and then let that come out? Let's say that you're like me if you're recovering from having a baby or you feel like your body's changed a little bit. How can you find that strength with where you are right now? Maybe it feels different than it did for you one, five, 10, 20 years ago. But I want you to find strength now. I want you to be able to feel confident now, even if that means starting from square one. Because again, it's just so important for us to get where we want to go if we can find that internal strength and power and our why and our goal and then create that body look from where we are. And the importance for that is Let's say you don't quite get your body exactly where you want it to be. Let's say you have a picture of someone up on your dream board and you're trying to get that look specifically, but things in life happen or you're 5'4 like me, so you'll never be 5'7 or you do have a baby or you have an injury or you have a surgery. Let's say something happens so that your body can never quite get to look that way. That doesn't mean you haven't reached your goal. It doesn't mean that you're not doing great and it doesn't mean you don't look great. It just means that maybe you need to change that aesthetic goal a little bit. So you change the internal barometer of how you feel, of what strength means to you, and that outside look will come because you'll be more at peace with it and you'll feel better overall about where you are. I hope that all makes sense and helps you know a little bit about why I'm here. I'm not here to give you that Pilates body. I'm here to try to help you find your inner strength so that your outer strength will come and you'll feel more confident in your place in the world. I want you to have fun while you work out. I want you to feel safe when you work out and I want you to see results. Um, but again, it's not only to give you a certain type of body because I believe whatever body you have is beautiful. We're just going to work with that and hopefully give you some empowerment along the way. And speaking of how to kind of get started in all of that, I have my next Pilates Beginners Boot Camp starting September 1st. So just around the corner, September 1st, 2018, we are starting our next 30-day Pilates Beginners Boot Camp. And all those things I just talked about are my goal during those 30 days. So what you're going to get is a 30-day workout calendar where I'm telling you exactly what workouts or recommending to you exactly what workouts to do each day. It's a combination of cardio, 
of arms, legs, some abdominal work. We have flex, uh, flexibility and stretching. You'll get a rest day each week, and then you're also going to get some high-intensity interval training to get you comfortable with that. And it's set up in a very specific order and very specific format where you're also going to get some tutorials, some beginner Pilates videos, uh, many of which you will never find on YouTube. So these are specific videos I give only to my beginner boot camp and my unlimited members. And then along with that, you'll get my 10-day clean eating guide and a private Facebook group only for the Beginner Bootcamp members where I will be there each day. We can chat, we can go through modifications, and kind of just walk each other through this journey. So it starts again September 1st. Normally the program is $50, but for being here and watching through this video and being a part of my YouTube community, you get a special discount, $15 off. So you get all of that for only $35. So just go to the link below, I'll have it down in the description, and use code YouTubeVIP. That's your coupon code, so Y-O-U-T-U-B-E-V-I-P, YouTubeVIP. Type it into the coupon code in the link below and you'll get $15 off. So I would love to have you join us, and again, no matter what, just know your body is beautiful. Find your why, feel empowered, feel strong, and then the rest of it will come with time, but that is gonna give you the motivation each day to keep going and putting one foot in front of the other. All right, I will see you next time.